beauty addicts. Welcome back to another Sunday Loves and Duds. Woo! Sunday Loves and Duds. Woo! I hope you guys had a great weekend. Happy Sunday. I am so excited, you guys. Today is just one of those weekends where you just got things accomplished. Um, I had a great week. Um, we did our Pollyanna pickings this week. I know to some it might seem a little bit too early. But um, we wanted to take advantage of the Black Friday sale. So this year is the first year our family's doing a Pollyanna because we're getting so big that um, just getting a bit expensive for all of us to purchase a gift for everyone. So we figured this is a nice way of doing it. And I'm so excited about the person that I got. We're not allowed to tell who we got um, until Christmas Day when we exchange gifts. So that'll be very, very exciting. So I want to thank my youngest sister for organizing the whole thing. She did such a great job. Of course, not everything goes 100%, but she did such an awesome job. So I am very, very excited, which means to me, Christmas is almost here. I know I'm skipping Thanksgiving and Black Friday. But you can't help yourself. I have the Christmas music already playing in my car. My kid absolutely loves it. She loves to sing in the car with me. So I've been enjoying a great week. I am not going to lie to you guys. So I have a few favorites for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed them because I am so excited for them. I have so many things coming up that you guys, that I'm doing for you guys. And I'm so excited that I just can't contain myself. So anyway, let's get to my favorites before this gets super, super long. My first favorite is obviously the hat. Um, I am a total hat person. I've always been told I have, uh, my head is shaped perfect for any style of hat you can think of and this is just one of those hats that I love to wear this time of year in the fall I have a bright burnt orange like the leaves that I have back here I have an orangey color like those leaves that I like to wear for the fall but today it matched my outfit um I, I just like floppy hats I love fedoras any type of hat um I have a few hats that I have been wearing I think I posted some on Instagram if you're not following me one beauty addict is my name so you guys can check it out but obviously one of my favorites is the hat that I am currently wearing and I am obsessed with these type of hats if you're wondering where I got it I bought this last year at forever 21 and I'm sure that they have some sort of type of it this year as well I haven't recently been to any clothing store because I am not going to buy any clothes that won't fit me after I give birth. So I'm not sure what will fit me. So I'm trying not to buy any clothing. But this is my first favorite of the week. My second favorite is something that was sent to me. Um, I've t spoken to you guys about Influencer over and over. Anybody can do it. Um, you Depending on um, what your likes are, they'll send you different types of products for you to try. And the most recent one that was sent to me was this new Vaseline Intense intensive care advanced repair lotion as you guys know I am obviously expecting and I don't like anything that has scent that I put on my body I don't like it to linger I cannot take my deodorant scent let alone a fragrance from a lotion so I've been using the almond oil but ever since I per I got this this is a, I've had this about, about two to three weeks now and I've been using this non-stop as well as mr. man and my daughter we've all been using it um, what the claims are, it's supposed to prove, uh, it's supposed to heal very dry skin in five days. I don't suffer from extremely dry skin, only on like my joints, like my elbows and my knees. The whole family kind of has that kind of uh, suffrage, if you want to say. Uh, but we've been using this, I've been using it all over my belly, all over any area that I normally would put lotion on and I really have been enjoying this one. It has absolutely no scent. The one that was sent to me was the richest one. You can get uh, lightest all the way to, there's four levels, so you can try different uh, levels of it. But the one that was sent to me was the rich kind. This is definitely not a greasy, it absorbs pretty well. It's a bit of a wet formula, but it doesn't linger where you're constantly having to rub and rub and rub and rub, rub for it to go in. It actually absorbs pretty quickly for it being such a watery feeling lotion. Um, it's a squeezy tube, um, as you guys can see. It's white. I don't see any scent to it whatsoever, and it does last all day. I'm currently wearing it on my body right now. And I truly have been enjoying this. So once I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to last me my whole entire pregnancy. But this has worked so well for the rest of my family that I think we're going to stick to this to use. Just because it's, just, I love Vaseline as it is. I do use straight Vaseline in the winter time 
to keep warm when it snows because that t tends to keep your hands and and it's uh, water resistant so I like to use that when it's snowing so for them to come out with a line I really really like this one so if you are curious and want to try a new lotion check this one out I don't know if they have scented ones uh, but the one that I have is fragrance free and it's perfect came at the right time blushes for the week that I have been wearing I've been wearing two of them the first one is this NYX Rouge Cream Blush I've been trying to use more cream bases and mix them up with my powders just because I've had them for a while and I don't want them to go bad and it's winter time so it's really nice and glowy on my skin even though I still get oily in the winter but not as bad as the summertime so this is the one I pulled out for the week it's called Tea Rose it is so beautiful and when I tell you guys a little bit I grab a stippling brush I bounce it in there once and that's just enough for both of my cheeks this is so pigmented it's not even funny very 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 pigmented but it is such a beautiful um, everyday type of color but I really like it for the fall time because it's a little bit darker of a mauve tone last all day I am not kidding you it lasts completely all day on my on my cheeks and it just looks like a natural um, cheek color it doesn't look like it's something out of the norm it looks like it's just me blushing basically and I really like it I've been wearing it on its own because it's so pigmented I don't need to top it with anything but if you'd like you can actually top this with like a luminite an illuminator or something that's uh, a highlighter just to make it more glowy but it's absolutely beautiful if you have dry skin I would check these out they are so creamy so pigmented these are gonna last you forever again this one is T Rose now the other one that I pulled out for the week is the Jordana blush and this one is in rose silk I forgot how much I like this this is completely matte not one speck of um, shimmer to it this one as well I forgot how pigmented this one was it's right down there I don't know if you guys can see it it's kind of like this the powder form of the cream blush I just showed you it's a beautiful everyday blush, all year round blush. Absolutely loved it. This is $2.50, you cannot go wrong. I have quite a few of these Jordana blushes. Ashley from Texas Mommy and Boys, she recently did a haul on her Jordana, a Jordana haul, and this is one of the colors that she bought, so I remembered about it, pulled it out. Absolutely love it, you guys check it out. You can get these at Kmart online at Cherry Culture, Jordana's website, and some Walgreens may carry this. Mine does not, but some of them do. So check this one out. Again, this is Rose Silk, absolutely beautiful. And I know this is a dupe for a MAC blush. I, When I first started my channel, um, it was a MAC blush. I, I petal something maybe, I don't remember. But it is a dupe for a MAC blush as well. So beautiful color. Love both of those for the whole entire week. An eyeshadow that has been amazing this week, and I use this all year round, but more so when specific palettes that I'm using and does not have a matte highlight, and that is the Wet n Wild uh, Brulee color. I am wearing this on my brow bone today. It is so pigmented. You do not need that much on there. I know people that use this as an under eye setting powder. I've never used it like that before, but I really do like it as a brow bone a matte brow bone highlight so pigmented beautiful absolutely love it for 99 cents you cannot go wrong this should be a staple in anybody's collection I've had this for a very long time and as you can see I have used quite a bit of it but I have yet to hit dent on this because it's so pigmented so this is another one of my favorite all-time favorites I've been using it this week and I absolutely love it an eyeliner that I've been using this week as you guys know, I'm having a hard time finding eyeliner, but this is a pretty good one. This lasts about like six to seven hours on my waterline. It is the Remo Scandal Eyes Waterproof Kajal Pencil, and this one is just in the brown color. Very nice dark brown um, eyeliner. Lasts on my waterline, like I get, like I said, six to seven days. Or six to seven days, really, Alex? If that's the case, you have a winner. Six to seven hours, not six to seven days. Um, I also put this on my upper lash line and smudged it out for like one of those 
just a smoked out but not so dark eyeliner look and it turned out really really nice this is just a great alternative for a black liner it's dark enough where it's going to give you that smoky look or that dark look that you want but it's not so harsh as a black liner so i've been using this all week absolutely love it it's great to smudge out and it's not so creamy where you can't work with it um, but you can actually do a soft wing liner with this because I have done it before. So absolutely been loving this this week. I love that and it'll always be something that I'll use all the time. Now I have some lip products that I've been really liking this week. Um, I've been using the Jordana Easy Liner uh, Lip in Tawny. I've had this for years. I am actually wearing this today. Um, if you guys don't own it, you really should. It's one of those staple kind of colors goes with everything it's just beautiful you can use this as a um just then fill in your lines put on a lip gloss you're good to go it's a beautiful color i'm not going to go too much into detail because you guys have heard it over and over and i'm sure in a many many channels so it's a beautiful liner it's only what two bucks get it you need it the next product that i really have been enjoying is the sally henson color fast uh, tint moisture bombs I really don't hear many people talk about these, but this is a really, really pretty uh, color and it's so moisturizing on your lips and it really lasts um, a few hours. It doesn't just like put on your lips and then it's gone. The color that I have is number five, Nude and Natural. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a really nice nudie pink color and I like to put this on first. It's shiny, it's not matte, it's moisturizing. You can find these in the Sally Henson section of your CVS, wherever you go, where all the nail polishes are. This is where they have these. I have a few of these and I really like these. Um, it has like a, a plasticky vanilla scent to it, but it's it doesn't linger and it doesn't, it's not an annoying scent. So this is what I've been putting on top of the lip liner. And then to uh, top it off, I've been using this uh, NYC Liquid Lip Shine in Honey on the Hudson. Now, I've used this by itself as well, and this is a beautiful, beautiful lip gloss on its own. It's so pigmented that you don't need to pair this with anything, but um, I have been pairing it with this, and I love it. Absolutely love it. So there is the NYC... Uh, Lip, uh, what is this lip gloss in again what is this honey on the Hudson it's beautiful I wore this on Friday I wore just like a really natural look on Friday to work and I just put this lip gloss on oh I loved how it looked it gave it gave me like a voluptuous lips gave me a little bit of um a little bit of shine not too much like where it's like whoo in your face and the color on my lips is just beautiful it's like a na an enhanced uh your lips but better kind of look but you obviously could tell that I had something on but it's these lip glosses are really really nice if you haven't checked them out and they smell really good they smell like a pina colada that's what it smells like it's such a good scent I love these so I have a few of these very pigmented these are not sticky either but they are a heavy lip gloss because of the pigmentation but it's not something where it's your lips feel heavy and you feel like you have something on your lips it just feels like you have a lip balm on your lips I love this. These three together, I've been absolutely loving, as well as one more product. The first time I ever bought these, I bought them in a set. Um, I had a CVS box plus 20% off, so I bought a trio of it. And the one that I've been using for the week, it's the NYX Butter Lip Glosses, the first or Butter Lipsticks. First one of its kind that I own because I have so many lip products, I never really bought these. But the trio I really wanted to try, and this one's in Pops, P-O-P-S. Oh my gosh, I love this. I wore this on its own. And I gotta tell you guys, I absolutely love it. Here it is right here. Absolutely love it. It lasted all day on my lips. I put it on at like 7, 7.30 in the morning, had lunch around noon, and it was like about two to three o'clock in the afternoon, and I still had this on my lips. This is all that I wore. I did not put anything else. No lip gloss, no lip liner. It didn't run. It stayed on. It's a beautiful, natural, everyday lip color. Absolutely love it. Love the formula. It didn't dry out my lips. I actually, at 3 o'clock, I actually physically wiped it completely off just to see if it left a stain. It did not leave a stain. 
but I love this. It lasted all day. This is one of those no fuss kind of a lip product and I now I know why everyone talked about them. So I have three now in total. I might want to pick up a few more, but um, this color pops is just a beautiful every day. This is the perfect starter one for me to try because I really liked it and um, it made me realize why so many people talked about these, but this color, love it love this color so I've been actually wearing really natural lip colors this week as you could tell but now I forgot to mention to you guys in the beginning of the video yes I do have a dud this week I I I don't remember how I got this one I think it was sent to me by one of my subscribers um I can't remember who it was but it's this Clinique soft press powder blush and it's in the color new clover really pretty color I was so excited I held on to this because I think I got this in the summertime. I held off to try it in the winter because it, it's a really nice mauve brownish kind of a color. So I pulled it out to try it this week and I am not getting absolutely nothing, nothing. As much as I rub on this, I'm not getting any color at all. It, I don't know if this is just one of those products that you, um, it's a trial one, I'm not sure. I don't even know I don't own any Clinique blushes to know if this is the way that they are packaged or if this came in like a gift set or something but I was so excited to try this and no color payoff whatsoever beautiful color it just sucks that it didn't work I think I may have just gotten a specific dud the one that I got is just dried out or whatever a powder blush would do but as much as I keep rubbing there's nothing 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 it's just there so this is my dud for the week unfortunately I'm just gonna have to throw this out because it's not that I didn't like the color all right guys I left the best for last I left the best for last I didn't want to leave the dud as the last one but I left the best for last you guys saw um, if you haven't I'll link it down below my first impressions on the Laura Geller 20 bakes baked of shades palette first of all let me tell you guys that the name of the palette literally went over my head. Not until I was uploading the video did I realize what the pun was. 20 shades of gray, 20 shades of baked. Duh, Alex. Uh, I did not get it. Obviously, it's 50 shades, but she did 20. It, it really just went over my head. It's that pregnancy brain, I'm telling you. But I've been wearing this palette all week to test it out for you guys. And let me tell you, I am completely blown away I love it I am wearing it on my eyes today completely the only two products that I am wearing is my bronzer just for a base and the brulee as the highlight because there, there is no matte other than that I've used this completely on my eyes today and all week long to the point where um some days I didn't even wear my bronzer as a transition I just stuck with this so <sighs> I love this you guys I really really love this palette grabbing these colors I would use this row right here as my transition colors and dry these colors just look so beautiful dry blended in my crease blended as my outer V on my lower lash line on here they look like they're very going to be very shimmery it's going to be very metallic-y um but really in all honesty blended out it looks like just a nice soft satin eyeshadow on my crease i had i did not look like a disco ball at all whatsoever some of these obviously are more uh pigmented as far as the shine to them but i use those as my um as my lid color this one right here goldie is an absolutely beautiful lid color love that one for all over my lid I used that one the very first day loved it this whole purple line right here I did a purple um, look the second day oh I fell in love with it fell in love with it all I did was use all these purple shades right here absolutely stunning the only colors I did not get a chance to try were the blues I did not get to try any of the blues but I basically almost did all of these these two shades right here, Oyster and Opal, right here, I used as highlighting for my cheekbones, for my cupid's bow. Oh, 
beautiful. Right now I have oyster in my inner corner, but these are beautiful, beautiful highlights. It's not that obnoxious, glittery kind of a highlight. It's a really nice highlight. I was so surprised. Absolutely love this palette, love it. I heard a few of you got this on beauty.com for 20% off. I didn't know they even sold it there. I know Ulta sells it. I did check QVC and HSN, I did not see it there, but that doesn't mean they're not gonna get it. The only thing I did not use with these was as an eyeliner. I did not use them as an eyeliner. I have used them wet. I am wearing one of them wet today and the payoff is amazing you guys this is such a beautiful palette i know many of you are have not even heard of this palette and i'm so happy i picked it up because i was debating on picking this up or not but wet these are 10 times better dry they work so well if you if i would compare these to beach cosmetic baked eyeshadows or the elf baked eyeshadows i'm telling you the quality of these is so much better they blend so well, they're not patchy. Um, the glitter aspect of them or the shine, if you don't want it there, just diffuse it out and it just worked so well. Absolutely love this. I'm definitely going to be doing a look with this palette because I love it. This is gonna be a great holiday palette. And don't be scared of the colors, I'm telling you guys. They, they don't have to be this vibrant if you don't want them to. They work so well in every way that it's stating. So this is truly an absolute favorite of mine. I cannot put this down. All week long, I faithfully, I use this and I absolutely love it. I actually got compliments when I did the whole purple color. People really liked it. They said they liked even this one right here, my boss, who's a guy who doesn't really you know know much about makeup. I use this color called Steel on my lid with the purples. And he was like, I really like your makeup today. I even mixed two colors together. I would grab a darker color and put one of these um, highlighted shades on top. And it gave a whole different look to, um, and a whole different color of what is available in this palette. I love, people like to mix their lip colors. I love to mix my eyeshadows and just mix and match and put things together just to get a whole different color combination out of them. So that's what I did. I love this. You guys check it out. So that is my favorites for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I wasn't too scatterbrained. I know I had a lot, but I wanted to make sure that I took the time to tell you guys about each product because I really have been enjoying them. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I have a lot of videos in the future for you guys. I'm so excited. I'm like all over the place. I cannot wait for you guys to check them out. This week, I will finally be uploading my VIB haul part one. I think I'm gonna split it into two because I did go a little bit overboard. And I am doing a Thanksgiving look for you guys. So that'll be up for you guys this week as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Any requests, any suggestions, please do not hesitate to let me know. I am still going to keep up with my palette um, makeup looks that I've been doing for you guys on a weekly basis. I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to use all my palettes that I am getting and doing looks for you guys. Even if, if it's something limited edition, I'm trying to get it in while you still guys can get it because I know that limited edition things go by quickly. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys.